I don't feel like it. I'm just like, I'm going to trust you. My hand's still in the fright. Okay. Still, still. Okay, fine. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Brunch with Desby. Oh, my God. You are back. I'm back. That's so annoying. But in a better, in the in the room, though. I know. This is our first podcast down here. Does, does it feel legit? Do you feel a sense of, damn, <laughs> my wife's kind of legit. Well, I think like about time, really, because it's been set up. <laughs> Both times that I've been on. But it has. That's just me being honest, I guess. It has. Uh, today we have beautiful Alani New Cosmic Stardust. Do yeah. you still like that flavor? Yeah. I've really? always liked it. Yeah. It used to be one of my favorites. And I think it's better than the slushes. All the slushes. That was cold-blooded. <laughs> that was, that was l- like, honestly, for me, it was a p- personal attack. Well. Personal attack. You know that by now. I don't like them that That's much. That's fair. Welcome back to Brunch with Desby, the number one podcast in the nation. Have you heard? I have heard. I've seen the charts. It's crazy. I, I can't. No, I can't believe we hit it. Like I, <laughs> literally, I, I've been waiting for you know number one in the charts, and I'm like, one day we did it. We did it. Yeah. So that's really great. Um, you know, fake it till you make it. Yeah. So, dear media, figure it out. You know, it's also funny though because. If I said that, I guarantee, well, I just did, said that, right? I guarantee you you 90% of them were just like, no fucking way. (laughs) Yeah, you fell for it. You idiot. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it goes to show social media. Like, I could literally say anything and people would be like, oh, cool. No shit. You know what I could also say? I could literally write in my diary and be like, New York's time bestseller. Yeah, and then people would be like, for what though? And you'd be like, well, well, you don't get it. You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. You're not on the list. It's a whole story. Yeah, it's a whole like background thing. I don't. I don't want to explain, but no. you know, it's just kind of like the people that used to uh, falsify the fact that they like went to college, like back in the old day. Who was it? There was a famous person that like literally faked that they went to college. I don't even know. Fuck, I'm gonna have to dig now I mean, and put it on the Instagram story. Literally faked it, um, or even like for example, Mila Kunis. She lied to that '70s show, said that she was of age, and she wasn't. But there was like there wasn't social media to like verify that shit. Well, well, of course. I mean, my grandpa was like 14 when he enlisted into World War II. So it's like, you know, <laughs> he lied. You can't verify that. <laughs> Where's your birth certificate? Oh, well, I was born in West Virginia in the mountains. Okay, well, I guess there is none. Yeah, no, totally. Like, you're, 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 you're alive, so like we got a it. rifle. Yeah. Yep. That's crazy. How about it? How about it? Speaking of history, I feel like we need to touch one more time on the submissible, the, the invisible submissible, titan, submersible. Sorry, I said submissible. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> mm. People are like, oh my God, did I miss something? <laughs> no, sorry. The submersible, submissible, invisible. Submarine. It's yeah, gone. Um, what do you What do you think happened? I mean, I think it just imploded in, I mean, exactly what everybody knows now. But um, I started to think as they're like, it's, oh my God, it's five hours until oxygen is out. And right. I'm like, in, my, th- in the back of my head, I'm like, they lost connection with it you know, whatever day Mm -hmm. into the, and however many hours into the dive, my kind of first thought was like, okay, so then something happened right then. Right. You lost signal because something happened. Mm. But that was Mm -hmm. my initial thought, but I just didn't know. Okay. You know, what's fucked up is like, I've heard this. And again, by the time you're listening to this, you're like, yeah, old news, but not old news right now is the fact that like they, the U S Navy had heard literally the implosion and kept that from the public for almost seven days. Yeah, I mean that's when you're. And they didn't even tell. They didn't even tell the people. So then all these people are online now, and they're like, "Yeah, so like, what are they distracting you from?" Blah blah. And then all of a sudden, here's the list of shit that happened the past seven days that we've all not even turned a shoulder to. Uh, I mean, yeah. I hate it. You're you're at that point. I'm sorry. I hate the media. I just hate the media. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I mean, at that point, you're peeling back some layers of shit right there. I, I know. And I don't, sure. don't want to go there. But, like, let me just say, I, I, I miss, like, I need Perez Hilton to tell me what's going on. I, I need, like, a blogger. I would trust a blogger before fucking CNN, NBC, News Center, ABC, number four. Fox, I don't care. I, I don't matter. even care who it is. I, I need a I need a blogger I need I need an influencer to be honest because like they would give me the real shit. It's really it's really funny. I was talking to my mom about it and she was like telling me about these forest fires. Which by the way, it's super hazy up here in Michigan, which is crazy. You can't yeah. it, like the air quality sucks. I looked at like it this map. Smoke. Yeah, I looked at like this map of the U.S. We are in the worst air quality in the country right now. Is that true? I don't know, but the heat map 
and thermal, just different colors. I'm like, oh, we're purple. Everybody we're like, else is green. We're so like New York. That means we're, we're like back. New York was a little bit ago. Without the orange. But yeah, we are kind of there. Like it is thick. Yeah. But um, I was going somewhere with that and I can't tell you where it's where I was going to end up. So we're going to just leave it. At, it's hazy out there. Yeah, so. totally. You were talking to your mom and you said it was hazy and we we're talking about the oh, news. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. And you're, anyways. You would be the worst podcast. Yeah, but anyway, I, I go, Yeah, go for it. Well, yeah, I, I'll find my way Yeah, around. no, move forward. But um, basically what I was getting at was I was telling her uh, a while ago when we kind of had a similar thing a couple of weeks ago, a month ago. She was like, yeah, there's forest fires. I'm like, that's crazy. Of course, you know, media is not talking about it. Like, why? how have I not heard about it? And she's like, well, you don't watch the news. I was like, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're kind of right. I don't. You need that to move in a little bit. You like kind of shift your weight. There we go. Yeah. So submersible's done. Titanic is actually coming back on Netflix as of July 1st. Oh, um, of course it is. Yeah. They announced that like two days ago. Money. Hey, we can profit off these guys dying, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I mean, at that point, can you blame them? No, 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 absolutely not. Because I, I know I've watched Titanic multiple times. When they said it was coming on, I kind of perked the ear. I was like, "Cool, can't wait to watch it again." I think kind of had me kept had me curious. I think of three scenes when I hear of Titanic. The first one is Cities her out. trying to jump. Well, uh, that's funny. I actually don't didn't think of that at first. I did. Well, I'm <laughs> getting there. Um, I the first one is Jack saving Rose from jumping off the ship. Correct. She and then good. I think of the steamy car sex. Oh, yep. That yep, one, yep, yep. The hand on the classic hand on the window Absol- and like slide it down. Absolutely. And then um Rose not getting the fuck over on that damn door. You you know what I my first thought went to though huh. was that old couple that laid in bed and died together. That was the fucking saddest scene I've ever seen in my whole life on TV. Oh, besides yeah. besides the water's rushing besides, in the, end the, besides like, the end of the notebook. Besides the end of the notebook. That was those were the worst. Yeah, I never watched the notebook. Yeah. I'm very glad. But, you know, the crazy thing about the Titanic, they made this full circle comment about how the Titanic, the whole reason the Titanic sunk was because they cut corners and they wanted to be the first people to sail across the ocean in record time or whatever, right? So they cut corners because they wanted to be the biggest boat and the first people to make this long haul overnight. So they, this is, this wasn't what I read. So they sailed through the night when really they should have had slower speed because there was no moonlight and they should have taken a slower route so that if they did see an iceberg or something, they could have avoided it. Well, they didn't because they wanted to be the the fastest It was bad captaining. Sure. Mm -hmm. It was a mix. However, they were also the first boat and there were some things that they did wrong. And then they made that connection that that's why the submarine was also, you know, had a fault because it's like they cut corners and- they did things that yeah. they shouldn't have. I mean, that's a that's a great connection. Sure. Yeah, and then there was a tweet. This is the last thing I'll say. Sorry, because I thought it was interesting. They asked Mr. Beast to go on it. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Well, see, also, okay, so I'm really going to destroy everything you just said. Why? Why? Um, it's m- literally my podcast. I know, <laughs> but ready? Um, there's a lot of evidence to back up that the Titanic was actually like a tax fraud type cover-up thing like a money laundry like no, a literally like um, a mattress firm kind of sweet but in a ship there's some evidence to this of and i haven't looked into it so i'm not acting like it just play along like it's real it's fun the titanic was built and it was swapped with an identical ship because apparently ships like that sure it was the biggest but it was i think similar to its like sister ship and there was a name for it i don't remember what it was called it was swapped to help something with tax evasion. So like with this thing going down, the Rothschilds, we all know that name, was involved at that at that time. Mm-hmm. Rockefeller mm-hmm. clan was involved at that time. Their names were tied into the funding or something around that. Okay. To where it was sunk. I don't know what is really that a, happens is past that. A conspiracy? That. It's naturally going to be looked as one, okay. but a lot of people have talked about it since, of course, the submarine yes. has come up and it's resurfaced it. It was almost like meant to, or not necessarily meant to, but it was the perfect situation to have this thing go down mm. for mm-hmm. a tax reason. You got to think also in the 1912 or whenever the hell this was, um, they didn't really probably care too much about lives and just like, ah, money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Coming up in the industrial time time of things. Yeah. And sprinting through it. But what did they call that? The the great revolution? Uh, industrial revolution, maybe. maybe but I think that's on. even, that was earlier. That was like 1800s, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know. I, Peaky I'm blinders ta- time time. Peaky blinders. I have no understanding of history past 2001 yeah so that's <laughs> it <laughs> stops at 9 11 100 <laughs> it's and actually kind of fair i mean that's when you were 
not bored, but, you yeah. know, grew up. The last thing to tie it in was the Mr. Beast thing. And, you know, everybody loves to be up in arms about anything. Mr. Beast was receiving backlash because apparently his text wasn't, like, 100% real. And he had to, like, I, I don't know. Again, I didn't look into it. But it was something about he had to explain himself for claiming that. That he was invited. I don't and it was fun. actually a text from somebody else. To somebody, I don't know. It was weird. There, I don't even. Care. I don't even care. But exactly. the point is, is that they they were like care. they were like literally getting influencers on this Ocean Gate thing. Like it was like people had already gone down there and made videos about it. Like they it wasn't their first run, you know. But it's just it's oh, really yeah. sad that it claimed their lives. Period. But interesting. Um, I do think Netflix has full rights to put on the Titanic. I'm sure they'll make some money. <laughs> full rights, depending and they have full on the rights. Family. Um, the families get a little piece. Of and it. I mean, and I'm, you know what? Some of the memes were fucking funny. I mean. I'm sorry. Dude. You, I, I'm so sorry. You almost have to be more mentally ill to say you didn't laugh at some of that shit, to be honest. Or like, just like, or like you're, lighten up a little bit. Yeah, like it's, it's it, what I are you going to do? I get it, but. What are we going to do? Oh my God, the internet had a heyday. I mean, there were thousands the amount, of memes. The amount of like Little Mermaid memes that I've, that I saw were like sending me. It was fucking hilarious. I like at that point. I don't care who I offend I because mean, some of them were fucking funny. But also, like, we've been down to the Titanic. What are we doing? I know. I don't. I don't really know. I don't get that. No. I mean, I w- I would like to see it, but like, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna YouTube it. Yeah. I'm just gonna YouTube I also the exploration don't videos. Don't need to see it. I pictures are cool. I mean, to physically be down that far would be fascinating. Uh, no. To think you are. I think I think I would be quite literally dollar. die. I would quite literally die. You put me even my body height. Under the water, like say you take me and then you put me five, seven under foot under the water, even. I don't know. Five feet under the water is what you're no, saying? No, so I, I guess I'm saying double me. So me standing in regular water and then take another of that, yeah. uh, another one of me. You don't even, even want to be no. down that far? No. So you wouldn't even swim to the bottom of an eight, no. eight foot pool? I barely do that ever, except uh-huh. when I was younger and I played mermaids. Well, fair. But like not in like a lake or shit. Yeah. Anyways, okay, other than that. That we talked way too long about. Yeah, we could probably. Let's talk about something else really quick is um, pink. Mortified pink stunned by a fan throwing their mother's ashes onto the stage during a show. Pink was left gobsmacked. <laughs> After a concert goer tossed a bag of their mother's ashes on stage. During her headlining set at British Summer Time Festival in London over the weekend. Oh, it's okay. That is, explains it. Is this your mom? Pink asks as she picked up a plastic bag holding the cremated remains in a witness's video posted to Twitter on Monday. With a shocked expression on her face, Pink then admitted, I don't know how to feel about this before staggering to her feet, placing the ashes on the edge of the stage. Um, and then at the time she was singing the song just like a pill. Yeah, I mean, that's just weird all around. What do you expect her to do? What are you doing throwing your ashes? What are you doing just carrying them? Unless, it, that, it's just odd. There's a lot to unpack in that one. There's a lot of, of concern. Like, you I, know, it's kind of like last week I covered BB Rexa getting hit in the head with a cell phone. It's like, what are we doing at concerts? <laughs> like, just go and enjoy the fucking music. Like, I know so, like celebrities, they're still us as much as we want to like glorify them, right? Like, they're still a person. They're, that is yeah, weird. To that's people, weird. They're not real. It's like, weird. Literally, they're not real to people. I remember, it's I'll so never weird. forget. I saw Mims at. You remember Mims? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that he was my first concert. Uh, what was the? What was this famous song? This is why I'm hot. Yeah, this is why I'm hot. I wanted to say drop it like it's hot, but that's Snoop Dogg. And no, I bitch. That. But yeah, this is why I'm hot. I'll never forget. For example, saw him performing in a random like mansion in Princeton because I had a buddy that went there that I graduated high school with, and it was like a big lawn party, and Mims was performing in some random room in this like mansion. Yeah. Off campus. And I'm just walking through. I'm like, that's, Mims. that's, this is why this, I'm hot. That's why I'm hot. Turn the corner and he's sitting there, just standing there in a room, just next. I'm standing next to him. You walk into the room and he's right there. Yeah, no. It's They're real. Crazy. They're real people. They are. Know? So anyways, don't throw your ashes at people. Like, I think that's, that is so embarrassing. It, I mean, it, it's it, London, right? Yeah. Like, that's what are you, just? I don't know. I just think it's weird. Go put, put him in the porta potty. Like. <laughs> I don't know. Spread them, spread them on the ground. Not on the. It's just weird. I just think that that crosses a boundary. I don't care how famous well, you are. Obviously, not. It's fucking it crosses weird. a boundary. It's just, it's, it's just to the point. It's almost like, like you're telling me that was in the will. It's like the sub. Yeah, it's like the submarine. It's so outrageous of what happened that it's like it kind of becomes a little easy to be made fun of. Yeah, 
it's really odd. I, I don't even know what to say to that. Oh. That's just weird. Yeah. Um, last little bit of news is uh, Colleen Hoover finally responded to the hate about It Ends With Us. I know you haven't read the book, but a lot of us have that, you know, my listeners. Hating, it's a fictional book. It's not a book. So the book, though, she's making into a movie. Okay. Blake Lively, and then this other guy, okay? But Blake Lively's main character, and just a lot of people who read the book, and you know, you get invested in a book, you create these images in your head, all of a sudden, boom, you see a movie, and you're like, what the fuck? So a lot of people were having issues with, like, the outfits that, that, that Blake was wearing, a.k.a. Lily, whatever get over it it you know <laughs> that's like i understand you, the, you the haven't i understand you haven't read the book so but from a from a reader's point it was quite like whoa that was not how you explained it in the book so but it's not the book but it is a reenactment of the book so like yeah it okay is well the harry book. potter harry potter was also a reenactment of books that had almost nothing in correlation it had like the ideas but it wasn't like the same stuff sure. i didn't even read the book but i remember my mom when i was a kid being like yeah, you know, but in the book, see here, what happened right here well, was actually different because X, Y, Z did this and not this. Well, let's call it how like, it is. Can, let's call how know? it is. Book's always better. It is. Yeah, you get we'll lost in your imagination, that. whatever. But That's regardless, she she did respond and kind of claimed, um, you know, a little bit of a difference in age. The main character, um, Ryle, is a neurosurgeon. And in the book, he was 29 years old. She wrote this like years and years ago, right? Mm-hmm. So now she casted someone older, right? Because you're not 29 years old and a neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeons go to school for like 50 years, right? So she admitted that was yeah. my error as a writer. Like I should have aged these characters out a little bit. So she did that now in the book. She's making that correction. She didn't want to like make the same yeah, error exactly. twice. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, there was a few um, outfits that, she, that were leaked, you know, whatever, just like three outfits. And basically what she said was like, you haven't seen the you haven't seen the whole picture and those were taken out of context. So I'm excited. I still believe my Lily is the girl that played what's her name? Dakota Johnson, the girl that played off Fifty Shades of Grey. That is my Lily. And my I don't know who my Ryle would be, but my Atlas is Liam Hemsworth. Like in my brain. Like I have these characters laid out. So for me, no matter what, it's gonna be a disappointment. But they I hope it's good. should have reached out to you to cast. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. I could have been costume director and they'd have been like Thank you. Thank you. Can't we never got we never got hate because Des just took care of everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was another thing. Um, and yeah, that was that was pretty exciting. Next up, piping hot tea. We don't have any launches going on. Mm. Isn't that nice? That's I don't nice. have to share anything. Just no like clothing oh. right now as of this episode. We do have new like Paragon coming out. We knew, you know we have stuff coming, but there's nothing like imminent. Um, new Alani Nutrition protein bars dropped. You liked uh, those? Uh, I did. I did. I Dude, peanut those. butter and jelly. Was it good? Was good. I had it, I had it, but I wasn't like ready to soak it in. And so I, if you ask me right now, which one's better? It's like, I, I don't know. Okay. I had yeah. both. And so I, I good. Can't, I can't decide yet. I'd have to eat it again. I would assume Ugh. they're still in stock, but as always, you can use code <coughs> Desby at checkout. Um, we have new greens coming from Milani too. They're not dropped yet, but they're literally flavored greens. So it's going to be like a, you know, maybe was it like an Arnold Palmer? greens oh. drink wow it you was something what, you know what goes really you know what happens to work really well with arnold palmer and greens is golf mm. you know mm-hmm. right so do you golf does your husband golf yeah Boyfriend you golf, golf. <laughs> 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 i top golf bitch well shank at golf is here to help you <laughs> you're right, you know, right? Hey, yeah no i you it? know i've been waiting to like get back on the green and like wear a new outfit. Like I'm like, Oh, like I want a polo, but like, Oh, I can't spend that much money or hat. Yeah. Or just golf accessories. No, hundred percent. But shank at golf. Dot com. com. Code Code Wyatt Wyatt P. P. I tell you what, you can get 15% 15 off. off. Crazy. We'll put, um, we'll go ahead and put the, uh, yeah, the link in in the bio. Code. Who knew? I never thought I'd be the one saying this. No, that's crazy. Arnold well. Palmer greens, greens on the green. And Arnold Palmer was a golfer. Yeah. Crazy. No, honestly, complete sense. Thank you for sharing that. I don't that. even know how we did that on accident, really. <laughs> that was stupid. We get it. Yeah. We anyways. Anyways, yeah. Fun. Get your shit. Why? I love going into my watches right away. I want to be very honest with you guys. I think I'm throwing the towel in on the idol. Um, this show is just so fucking graphic. The idol. It's on HBO. It's, I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. It's on Max. Oh, yeah. It's on Max. It's on Max. 
um, trying yeah. to be trendy. You know, it's on Max. I, I respect their name change. Um, but it's just so fucking stupid. <laughs> and I think I just, that's it. I think I'm done. Sorry, guys. I was really going to stay in the fight for you, but it's so fucking dumb. The only reason I want to watch it is because Lily Rose Depp, great actress. Like, great actress. Yeah. Great. But, like, go do Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Like go go be like she could have definitely outperformed Kira Knightley. Yeah, I wish I. Lily Rose Depp is Johnny Depp's daughter. I mean, I just don't even know what she looks like. She Nothing. looks so. She would play a beautiful fairy. Like if there was a live reenactment of Tinkerbell, that would be her. She's so like earth, sure. like unearthral, yeah. like. Unearthral. I don't know. Earthral. Earth. earth ethereal. Ethereal. Unethereal. Ethereal. Yeah, maybe that's a word. Like, thing, like, like, yeah, just like she just looks. She looks magical, like a yoga instructor or something. I don't know. Yeah, she just looks like her face. Mm. Like she just looks different. That's cool. Like she's very Good unique. Her. Good for her. Um, yeah, she's stunning. But anyways, that's the only reason that I wanted to keep watching. It. I'm done. Vanderpump Rules. I'm hooked. I have to admit, this is the one reality show that somehow presses all the right buttons. It takes you me know, back to Jersey Shore is what I told Des. It's just like it reminds me of Jersey Shore. I like. I think right now with where we're at, we're in season two or we're, I'm sorry, we're in season three, like episode two. So Jack's for instance, just got Stassi's tattoo covered up. So just like a reference of if you guys have watched, you're like, oh shit. Okay. That's where they're at. So they're all dating new people. They're all doing new things. But what I love is like, we're watching people that are poor. In essence, right? We're not watching the Kardashians. Yeah, We're right. so it's, it's so removed person. from us. Yeah, it it's so it the what person. the fuck. We're not watching the real world where it's also just purely weird challenges and like drama. Yeah, right. it, like it's just their life. 100%. And it's like it brings you back to like that age. And a lot of them aren't that far off from like how old we are. So it just feels like comfortable yeah, to watch them. And well, it does it doesn't feel out of touch. Yeah, it's like Jersey Shore, but like it instead of like the Jersey Shore, like the normal people it's like hey jersey shore normal people but living in like the high class like space right and so they have crazy experiences so it's, it's crazy really experiences funny. they still have great connections but like they're still normal i know but they, i like and it. they also think that they're like the biggest thing in the world and it's just so fun to watch it's so it's fun the delusion of every the del- single person no 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 no, no. the delusion crazy. of sheena it is sheena. purely sheena's delusion She's, for sheena's me so funny <laughs> Dude, they're all funny. She is so funny. I, who, who's your least favorite character off the bat you're, right now? Least favorite character. What's her name? Brittany? Kristen. Kristen. That's it. 100%. Yeah, that dude, would be mine too, dude. She's just like, it's also, so weird I'm, now that I'm on, but now like being in front of a camera and knowing this just goes out, it's so funny, but it's like, there are also people, you know, <laughs> it's like, I, they've been talked about like this probably a million times, oh, but this has been like the highlight of media for like months. I'm sure. But it's just so funny to now talk about them because it now makes it feel real. That oh yeah, for they sure. They could actually stumble across this. <laughs> I hope they do. Hey, and if you're watching and we know that you are, you suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you have a second to watch, I just want to let you know, you kind of suck. But, um, or you did suck. You did you know suck. I, mean? I maybe, hope, maybe I hope awesome you don't now. suck anymore, but 2015, you fucking suck. Is that that time frame? Mm, that's where we're at right now. Wow. 2015, you sucked. Oh my God. Yeah. So anyways, it's really fun. Also funny Vander T is I was at my cousin's this weekend in Detroit and I. Detroit? I forgot, Detroit. The, t- I forgot Detroit. the T at the end. There. Yeah. In Detroit. There, Detroit. I was in Detroit. 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 I was in Detroit. Um, I was in Detroit and I was with my cousins and her husband. So I was, you know, what TV are you guys watching lately? You know, it's kind of like the weather's uh, real nice, huh? You I, know? I want to talk about Vanderpump Rules. Yeah, so I was like, so TVs like, are what TV watching? are you guys yeah. watching lately? And I was like, yeah, Wyatt and I are watching Vanderpump Rules. And um, the husband, he goes, oh, no way. Um, I went to school with Jax. That's so funny. Des texted me in a frenzy. She's like, oh, my fucking God, you'll never guess what I just heard or what I well, found because out. I remember the and intro like, and he was like, I'm from Michigan and me and yeah. Wyatt were like, Oh yeah. Like, woohoo. Oh, you know? Wonder and so I didn't, yeah. So I didn't, I just didn't look, I didn't care to like Google it, you know, whatever. And so anyway, he was like, yeah, he, he was a year older than me and I really only, he didn't play sports. Like, you know, I did, but 
I only saw him really at the gym. You know, he's always lifting weights is what he said. And we've talked, you know, we talked a few times and, but I've never watched Vanderpump rules. That's what he told me. And I was like, well, if you want to hate him, yeah, you need feel to. free to watch the yeah. show. Jax is up there though. Let's be honest. Dude, Kristen I, d- is I don't thing, like Jax. Dude. I don't like Jax. He's so immature. The, the fact that he is right now, like when we're watching season three, 35 years old. Yeah. He's what? 43 he's 43 now. He's like 40. Yeah. Regardless. He's, he's at that time, 2015, 35 years old acting the way he is like, that is so cringe to me. He is, dude. It he is, is terrible. I is, feel bad. I feel I, bad. I mean, because that so that comes obvious. from something. Deep. I was just about to say it's That's so deep. obvious. He has some crazy trauma that he has never touched on or even thought about. He's just put on that male like nothing happened and yeah. I'm the shit, and it turned into him being a piece of shit. Yeah, he said he shit. ended up coming back to like their uh, twenty year reunion or something like just really? the other year, and I was like. Of course he of fucking course he did. did. Yeah, because he he's did. somebody. Yeah, he's yeah. somebody. Well, that um, the, well then there's Jax for you. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, I don't like Wyatt and I have stayed very removed from like current events. So like, I don't know where they're at right now. You know what I mean? Like, no, we we have I, no understanding of where they're at in 2023. Nothing. So I'll be excited to kind of move through. But we're we're kind of like chugging. We're chugging through the seasons. We're yeah. really enjoying it. It's, it's I told fun. I told them last week. Like, if Lisa walked into a room, like she's both of our hall pass. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! Lisa is a Fox. She's so hot. Dude, she is hot. And who who was it that was like, oh, uh, Lisa? Oh, uh, it was uh the manager. What's his name? Oh my God, Peter. He does not get yeah, enough respect. We need to talk about Peter briefly. Peter is the shit. Peter that is dude, that motherfucker. Dude is plays the middle ground better than anybody I've ever seen, and has the hearts of America in the heart of mine. Hundred percent. If I swung that way, Peter's dope. Yeah, I no, would and, give him a look. And There's the thing no is, doubt. I'm just like, I'm just curious, like, are you it, at 2015, right? Did he get enough respect? Like, I'm curious, did people talk about him back in 2015? I don't know if he was ever considered a main character, so I don't think he got the respect he deserves. Peter, Mm-mm. I love Peter. Peter's cool. Love Peter. Peter's dope. But My he guy. was talking about, uh, I brought him up because Lisa was saying something or talking about it and he was just like oh like uh you know i'm getting like flustered or like and it cuts to him in his solo you know talking to the camera you know outside of like what's going on and yeah. he's like lisa is so hot <laughs> i was yeah, like dude. yeah and they do, they do like weird shit out in california in general with their photo shoots like i look forward to that episode that every year funny. it's weird yeah it's very odd i'm like are you i'm ready for lisa to be in a bikini and do that i want to know what her body looks like i guarantee it's not that bad I bet, yeah, I mean, she's hot. She looks great. She looks so good. She looks so good. And, like, honestly, goals. Okay, so next up, uh, Kardashians. Honestly, I haven't, haven't caught up on that one. I've been really busy with Vanderpump. Like, that has literally been a priority for Wyatt and I, as well as Cody Ko, um, which he put me in his YouTube video the other week. Unintentionally, but. I know, but, like, I was still there. <laughs> and I was, like, I was, like, his top comment. Like, I know he saw my profile. Oh, yeah, he did. Maybe not clicked on it, but, like, he saw my name. You should put Kelsey like Kel- tell Kelsey to reach out to me or something like that and you're or Kel- Kelsey Kreppel not a weird fan of yours. If you, you know what put I mean? if you like I think Kelsey Kreppel and Haley Bieber are probably my top two parasocial relationships. Like <laughs> I am deeply invested in both of them to yeah. where if we were to ever like connect, I know. I know. I know deeply. Like we would I would be their best friend. Yeah, I mean and they would be mine. Yeah. I could see Kelsey for sure. I know nothing about Haley, but yeah, she's kind of ominous. But like, I just, I just have a feeling. Yeah, and of course, yeah. why, why wouldn't you about Haley? Yeah, no. Yeah, it's not that you like think you look like her or anything, but I know it has Somebody, nothing to do with it. You know, listen, I get it. She's the prettier one, but like, I'll be a dupe. Sure. I'll any any day of the year, I'll be a dupe of Haley Bieber instead of someone be like, mm, you kind of look like Mrs. Trenchbold. You kind of look like her mm. from Matilda. You know that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll take Hilly Bieber any day. Someone told me the other day that you look like that guy shared the one from fucking Beer the Millers. Oh, when that I had, had my the glow up. Hair. That had, had the glow yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, you know, like yeah, this or in his older photo, yeah, someone yeah. was like, he kind of looks like what a little bit. I was like, mm, yeah, I see it. Oh, totally. Because he, he and you know why he dressed up as Spike. I think his name is in Toy Story. <laughs> and that Look, is your topic, Kinger. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> so all my friends always made fun of me when I had my buzz cut. No, um, yeah, you look like Spike. The Spike, you know, the black T-shirt with the white skull on it in Toy Story. And he w- he was like the crazy braces. one. Yeah, yeah he, he had crazy <laughs> kid. He had braces. Um, when I had Definitely my buzz had cut, I had, I'm not kidding you, maybe four <laughs> of like the five or six friends that uh, like maybe reached out to me, my close friends that reached out to me and literally all sent the same picture. Yeah. Like not talk to each other and sent the same picture. It was so uh, funny. Honestly comical. But that guy that you're talking about from We Are The Millers yep. dressed up as him for Halloween. So I will say that, yeah, apparently I do look like both of them. There you so go. That's cool. I'll take that's that. That's so funny. Yeah, that's really all we watched this past week. Um, like I said, other than catching up with like Cody Ko's video. I love that he's doing videos with Nut. Um, oh, it, like it's y- just so you know, perfect. You know, yeah, you if know. you know, you know. Like if you're a, if you're true like Codester, uh, like you get it. You did not. I don't know. I just it's I, chodesters. I I just said code. I didn't want to say chode on my podcast. I hate the word chode. Well, that's that's where you draw the line. You draw the line at chode. Ew! It just every it makes other me word think is about micro penis. Well, and that's like what because it, it kind of you know is is it like an inverted penis? No, it's just a short little thick boy. Oh, see, when I think of like a micro penis, like I genuinely think think of it almost being like inverted. Well, that's n- like not possible, but yeah. I know, but it's just like that's a picture. Like, like ugh. yeah, you know, but yeah, chodesters. So not a real chodester. I, I, I just want to be a codester. Codester. Okay. No chody. No, no chodes. Um. Okay. Last thing. Skincare corner, wellness corner. I kind of like going wellness route because, like, maybe there's something new I've tried. You know. Sure. And I, I just want to keep it a little bit more broad, like broad spectrum SPF. <laughs> What? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just. I was letting you keep going. Like we're. Oh, oh yeah. I thought you were transitioning into something. Yeah. It I mean, like you it was kind of kick off an ad. Uh, no, honestly, I. That would have been cool. That would have been great. Um, but we can do an ad for Broad Spectrum SPF by Tula, which I'm very excited to be partner. No, just kidding. That oh would be really God, cool. That would have been funny. Yeah, that would have been funny. Yeah, um, but no, honestly, tis the season. Like, if you guys aren't reapplying every two hours. Yeah. That's me. And I get on you all the time about it too. Oh, you do. Hundred percent. But. Um, honestly, like I told you guys last week, less is more. I've had a lot of people reach out to me lately, ask me about like what I'm doing with my skin. I'm doing the most minimal ever. Like half the time I'm actually skipping my morning cleanse. And if I do do a cleanse, it's just a milk cleanser. Very like nothing yeah. going on. Very just like plain Jane. Well, because y- you know how tough it would be to commit to 30 minutes twice a day for the rest of your life. No, I would I hope would. you would cut corners at some point. Mm-mm. I'm only doing it because I feel like for me right now, like with where my hormones are and my skin is reacting, like less is just purely more for me. If I could sit in there and layer the same shit on for 30 minutes, I would. <laughs> it's psychotic. No, it's not. Like, I love it. Oh, I just, so I sit funny. there. I just, I don't even think. I'm not, uh, and again, I'm not even judging you because I'm sure many of your listeners probably do the same thing. Yeah, they're thing. like, they're like, like 30. <laughs> that's a drop in the pan. <laughs> yeah, they're probably looking at me like, okay, yeah, buddy. Well, look at your piece of shit ass skin. And it's like, well, I get it. But yeah. But it's just. I just can't wrap my head around that. It's because you're a lazy fuck. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Wash your face. Just kidding. My point is, um, great time. Okay. Great time to reapply your SPF. Um, nothing's really new right now. Like, we don't have anything coming out. Tula doesn't have a new product. We do have something new coming this July. I can't tell you. But that's really it for Wellness Corner. Um, other than, yeah, I'm just like, I'm lifting heavy. I'm loving tracking my macros. I'm actually not doing Starbucks as often now. Like I'm just, I'm like really turning a leaf. Yeah. Which is shocking about the Starbucks, but definitely needed. Yeah. It just, you know, I don't care like how much you can afford something. The minute you just like do it too often, it's just like, I don't know. I like don't need to spend that money. Yeah. It, it, 100%. That's like, a great I, like, way of putting it like for I anybody can, in any position on any specific yeah. thing. It's like after a while you're like, I don't need to be doing this. All like time. I can budget $6 a day for a coffee. Right. But like, at the end of the day, like, why do I need to budget six dollars a day? Like, it's stupid. Yeah. Well, yeah. You don't. But yeah. Like, like it just it, you just don't need it. So I'm like, I'm cutting back. Yeah, I've been you're doing a micromanager. It's just like, yeah. Hey, don't do that to yourself. Like, I've been doing my Alani New protein coffee every morning, and it's like 100 milligrams of caffeine. It allows me to also maybe have an energy drink later, or I can do like a diet Mountain Dew. Like, I just I like it. Yeah. I'm just like I'm loving this new era. Of Meanwhile, me. I'm 400 milligrams in today, and I could see it going a little higher with my Diet Coke later. Yeah. So. I mean, you know, some days you're going to have those days. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's most of them, but it's, it's 
Whatever. Mm. Well, let's not really. Let's no, cut that kidding. back. It's not you most know, of them. I am I am in between two hundred to three fifty every day. Yeah, I'm probably about the same. But honestly, some days I do lower. Like today, I only had my Alani new, and I didn't even have that. I didn't even have my cherry slush until like noon, noon thirty. So like, I've only had two hundred grams today. Like, yeah, I had go a, me. I had Alani pre workout, um, and then I just drank <laughs> this. So, yeah, that's kind of a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Well, anyways, everybody has those days. Everybody, Everybody makes, makes mistakes. mistakes so. Everybody knows what what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. Uh huh. All right. Let's give it up for Des's side shoulder. She's looking real hot over there. Been kind of eyeing her down a little bit, it's but it's fine. It's just the bear. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. the noise of a bear. <laughs> yeah, that's a sexy bear. <laughs> All right. Let's get into our last segment of the day because you know we gotta get we gotta get going. But before we go, I we should probably book our next therapy session with our partner better, better help. help wow Day, are you fucking ready well i'm glad that it's not the beginning of the podcast like you tried the other time <laughs> all right now let's get into the podcast Nope, it's just another you know, thing I, and to talk I about. and I will tell you. Ever since you called me out on that, I've made that transition. So I feel glad. like it's going, it's flowing you well. Somebody to tell people, you, are, people aren't expecting it to be the beginning of the podcast. They're just like the last segment. You yep, know what I mean? Exactly. And and it it Thank alleviates you. the mental block of like, holy fuck, I still have a whole nother podcast to listen to. Well, that's the point. Yeah, for sure. So why? Thank you for your service. Gotcha. Uh, that's for the. Uh, it's for the fans. Yeah, no. It's for you guys. I love my fans. You're welcome. I love my fans. I just. I hear, I hear them raging all day. Des B. Let's go. Des B. Des. We're so stupid. We love you. Oh, by the way, I'm going, <coughs> as of last night, as of two nights ago, I went and saw Taylor Swift again. So. Oh, yeah. How was oh, that? I'm so excited. How was it? Oh, it was like. <laughs> transformative like is sure. seeing her once is one thing seeing her twice is like it puts you on another level of yeah. like swifties yeah i'm yeah. still not quadratic like i'm not gonna like find the easter eggs in her songs but like i feel like mm, i'm like an ex i'm like i teared up yeah you're not a super fan yet mm. i oh. don't know i'm like mm, i'm kind of there like i kind i'm of a super fan. I'm not gonna lie i've kind of been keeping up on her because like speak now is about to come out taylor's version and speak now is probably one of my favorite albums like i just have a lot of emotional connection to that album mm -hmm. from high school and like i'm thoroughly fangirl excited like it, it's good. almost like that embarrassing but like everything she posts about it, i want to repost good somebody's somebody's got to do it no yeah she's bringing in the economy like up to five billion fucking that. dollars this it's year like crazy we deserve to kiss the, the land that she walks on oh my knowing God. that i breathe the same air the as her it's fucking money. nuts the amount of she oh makes so much. She made so much money. And God. you know what? Like she deserves every little bit of it because I do oftentimes think like if she was a man and she literally has a song about this, if I was a man, I'd be the man. I would be curious her power if she was a man. And you can't say that it would be the same as her as a woman right now. Well, who would you compare to? Because there's people I, I, that I you would could compare I would and say that there's a man doing what Taylor I is. can't really think of like a man artist off the top of my head right now, but I think like what? Morgan she Wallen? is the man. You know what I mean? Oh, she, you know what I mean? So like she is, but th I'm saying then exactly. So you're right. She, she is doesn't the man. have to be a man to do that. She is literally, she is the man dominating the music industry. One hundred. You know what? 100%. Yeah. So, but I'm just saying, it's like, why even say that? I, well, why just cause I, th I think of someone who like has just even potentially more money than her. Like I think of like Elon or like Jeff Bezos, like she would be at that level of income. Like if she was a man. No, she wouldn't. Because she'd be an artist and would not have 200 plus minimum billion dollar companies. Those are just way too I don't different. know. I just, you know, I think she deserves it. I agree. She's awesome. She I deserves she, to inherit Amazon. She was my mom's like favorite artist when I was growing up, I remember. I'm she so loved her. sick of running as fast as I can. Wondering if I'd get there quick or if I was a man. Like, so. Well, I mean, she. So probably, cinematic. She probably would get there quicker. She would. If she was a man. Yeah, she would. But whatever. Her Just time is. Muscles, she's more, going. Yeah. More testosterone. Okay, last segment of the day. Tell me something that you do that other people would maybe think it's gross, but like, let's admit to it. Okay, like, let's just like admit to the weird shit that we do, okay? 
first one, this could be anything too. I okay. didn't, I didn't just say like something that you do. That's gross. We'll go through a few of them today. Okay. I look through the local obituaries and county jail inmates every single day. Sincerely, you never know who you'll see in there. That's kind of fun, though. That's like to me. That's like somebody looking on Zillow. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. I don't it's just think like, that's going on in the criminal world. I don't think that's much of a time waste. Is like if you're like I scroll Reddit every day, like that. I'm like, why are you infiltrating you your also brain? Also, hate Reddit. So it's just. Well, no, but I'm just saying. Place. Like, I feel like filling your energy with that is like that's just fun. That's just fun. Reddit does have some fun stuff though. This that's true. If you get Very on the right side, stuff. for sure. Okay, fine. If I'm just at home, I don't always flush the toilet. If I pee, I just wait till next time and then I flush. I don't know why. I just have the habit of it. Sincerely, am I saving the environment by doing this? No, you're not. But um, less water. Let's I would be argue. Yeah, but you're not saving anything. You know. Yeah. Like our our plastic straws here in the middle and middle of Michigan aren't saving a turtle. Probably not. Like it should or paper straws. Yeah. I don't, I, you know, I do do this often. However, I will say I've recently not been doing it as often because I've thought about the backsplash. So when you pee and you get that splash coming up from you naturally from like the water and I'm like, that do is I, gross, do yeah. I really want that to be my urine? But I also s- like women sit to pee. So it could be a little bit different than dudes who maybe stand, but knowing I mean, that this was also a woman, it's like, that's the only thing that's grossed me out lately. Sometimes we don't flush at night just for the sake of like, it's the middle of the night. I'm not trying to flush the toilet and that's wake true. the other person up or even just like have that noise wake me up more. Yeah. So it's like, I'd rather zombie I want a there, zombie, zombie to pee and yeah, die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I'm sure a lot of people agree with that one, but um, are you asking what our grossest thing is? Or no, we're just sharing, kind of reflecting, like, do we do that too? Oh, I mean that. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. I guess. Sometimes. Okay, fine. I pick my nose, deep clean my ears with my nails, and then I deep clean my boyfriend's ears and pick at my foot skin when it's peeling. I smell my farts, etc. Sincerely gross, but still cute. I'm sorry, but like, that's normal. I If anybody is denying, if you deny all of it, you're lying to yourself. If you deny most of that, sure, maybe you're just on the cleaner side. Here, here's a follow up. Next one. I feel like I can't be the only one. I like to smell my own farts. Sincerely sassy and gassy. Yeah. I mean, anybody <laughs> can handle their own farts because it's you. It Totally. I think it's just curiosity. Like, how bad was that one? Well, yeah, of course. Like, yeah. you know, my, my stomach rumbled a little bit more with that. Like, mm, was that a different scent? Like, I think it has to be something with the physical or the <laughs> human body. It has to be. Like, if you're, like if you're the one exerting it right like getting rid of it it's something like you need to know what it is yeah but you're also like you smell it and you're like cool whatever (laughs) but if that exact i swear i guarantee there could be a study about this i'm just picturing people like this exact like like just getting (laughs) into it like i can see someone cupping their hand behind and bring one oh man literally they're like was that sweet potato last night Mm, that smells like like ketchup and onions yeah yeah so, yeah, we definitely all do that. But, yeah, but what I was going to say, it's like you take the same exact smell from somebody else's butt, that would, I guarantee, smell bad to you. That's gross. And that's weird. Oh, Think about that, though. That's yeah, like the, where there's some this. makeup in our minds that do it for us. Yeah, that we're like, that we're that fine with that it bad. when it's ours. But if it's the exact same smell coming mm. out of her, in my mind, I'd be like, what the fuck's wrong with you? That's, that's true. That's it's true. It's really weird. And I know you guys would probably understand yeah. that. Okay, I'm very particular about how I eat my homemade check mix, aka my longtime hyperfixation comfort snack. I have to eat them one kind at a time in order of least favorite to favorite. So all the pretzels That's first, so then funny. the wheat checks, then the rice, then the corn. I freak out when someone tries to take some of my bowl too because it throws off my whole routine. Dude, that Since is seriously, psychotic. am I OCD or yes. just unstable? Uh, you obviously. I'm going to take a quick guess. You started doing this as a kid. Yeah, that was probably like a, a my parents are fighting and like I don't want, I want to drown them out. So I'm just going to like, I'm going to organize my check. Yeah, mix. no, for real. That's I like guarantee che- you that that's is literally from a kid. Check mix, check mix trauma. I honestly don't know if anyone else does this or not, but I've never openly said it to anyone. When I was younger, I was always super embarrassed about boogers and would cry if someone pointed one out. So ever since <laughs> I, probably middle school, I cleaned my nostrils out two times a day with Q-tips. Sincerely, the girl who took COVID tests like a champ. That is, that's such a deep rooted fear though. Like I can understand where you yeah, hyper fixate on like, all. bro, I do not want there to ever be a booger in my nose. I wouldn't, I would never, I'd never fault you for that. That's no, fine. I that's don't think that's weird, but that, yeah. Nobody can be upset. Like, wow, you pick your boogers. You clean your nose. Yeah. Like, ew. 
Weird. <laughs> no, you're fine. I still flick my boogers after I pick my nose. Sincerely, picky Polly. Same. Um, I have to say it. Yeah. You just gotta get rid of them. It's kind. It's part of the fun. It's part of the experience. The best part is pulling them out of your nose, <laughs> and then you flick them away, and you're like, gotcha. You can't do it in certain spots. So like, I don't do it in my bedroom. Well, of course I not. don't do it in my, I try, I don't even do it in my home unless I'm like in the bathroom and I flick it towards the toilet. When I was in high school, like first driving, I used to do it in the car. You would like, put them under the seat. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I'm sure a lot of people have, let's be honest. But I remember the there was, theater a, there was at one point I was looking for something and reaching my hand in high school, trying to find something. I couldn't remember what it was. It's like gum underneath but the table. I swear to God, I was like, oh my God, I realized the year of boogers that I put there. That's so bad. It is bad. gross. But I remember this, I was like 16 and I remember doing that and I'm just thinking, I should probably not do this anymore. And I haven't done it since because I realized how, That's so embarrassing. hey, who knew that putting those things out of sight, out of mind are still there. Okay, this so. is fucking gross. I eat salt. I buy the big chunky sea salt and literally just eat pieces of it. Yeah, that's Sincerely, a sodium well, snack. How you're eating it changes everything. But if you are, you know, licking your finger, dabbing no, it, she's, licking, she's, dabbing, But licking, it's even dabbing, worse. She's eating bad. salt rocks. But that's my point. That's weird. Put it on anything. Put it on a little bit of peanut butter and you save a lot of judgment. Like get a hard boiled egg and shut the fuck up. Yeah, never tell, literally never tell anyone yeah, else that. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Obsessed <laughs> with using the end of floss picks to clear out my tonsil stones. What the? Fuck? What the fuck is a tonsil stone? Go get them removed. Wait, what the fuck is a tonsil stone? I think it's when you get. I gotta Google it. I think it's when you get your tonsils removed, and it's like in the process of healing. Because, I mean, your tonsils should be s- either gone or sewn up. What the No, I know. I know fuck? exactly what it is. Did, did it never heal? Wait. We, okay, whoever wait, sent this in. You, wait, why do you have those? Whoever sent this in, I, I, I don't know. Regardless, whoever sent this in, please follow up on this. E- reach out to Des or me. Or you can do it anonymous, anonymously yeah, if you need to. It's fine. We're not judging you. It's just more of like, tell us more about this. Did you have surgery recently? Wait, I've never seen a tonsil. St- I'm like scrolling photos of tonsil stones. Yeah, you had to have surgery recently. There's no way you just build up or did it never like heal properly? Or do you have tonsils and that's a byproduct of still having them? Okay, I'm done. Okay. Well, okay, I'm done. That was I wanna, so gross. I want to follow up on that because that's interesting. That was that that's one's interesting that one's cr- to me. It's not your fault for wanting to pick those because I think I would do the same. But like, h- why do you have them? Okay. If I'm cleaning my dog's eye boogers and I'm nowhere near a tissue or anything oh no. to wipe them on, she eats them. I'm typing this. I'm cringing as I'm typing this. I know it's gross. You literally fed your dog the eye boogers. Don't say she eats them. You gave them back to your dog. I'm literally kind of feeling that's nauseous. Disgusting. I'm feeling nauseous. I mean, the dog doesn't care. I mean, the dog's like, ooh, that's good, you know, but come on. Don't do that. I need water. <laughs> tonsil stones followed up by eating your your dog eating their poor boogers is sad that's c- i, I, I hate reggie and i wouldn't even make him do that <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> it's a joke between I hate, and I. I hate dog eye boogers and i've they're never so disgusting I, when i grab them it's like it's like i'm picking up like a a literal piece of shit yeah it's like ugh. i love the smell of my sweaty socks only mine not others if i nope. smell the stuff that comes out of your toenails you know like when you get a pedicure and they scrape out under your nails so yeah also, my own boob sweat. Like, I'll stick my own hand down there in my cleave, r- cleave and sniff it. Sincerely, I can't believe I admitted all that. I don't I don't find that last one odd because I know for a fact a lot of guys smell their own sweat down there. Your for sure. ball sweat? Oh, yeah. It's a common thing, and I guarantee if there, any is, if there is a guy listening, I guarantee you they do it. Ask your boyfriend or significant other right now. Send him a text. Yeah. Do you smell your own ball sweat? Send and literally send of, me a screenshot yes, of the photo. Of the answer. Because if they say no, they're lying. They're, they're hiding something. They're hiding something. If More they don't, than balls. If they don't sniff their ball sweat, they don't have balls. I'm telling you, every single guy does it. I, I, I do it. I know s- most of the guys that I know literally do it. They smell it. It's the same thing. as It's the same energy as the cleavage stuff. It's, it's just true. a little bit more of a congested area, of course. I pee every single time I get into the shower. I don't give a fuck if I'm at a hotel getting ready right at a now. friend's house or if I'm showering, I'm peeing. Yep, I 100%. Okay, I the, the I one don't even thing, know where it comes the from. The one thing I will tell you, and this is like just woman to woman, like peeing in the shower, and I do it too. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Peeing in the shower is actually very bad for your pelvic floor. What? Mm-hmm. 
How the fuck does that affect it, your pelvic it can, floor? It can strain your body's natural reaction to, like, have... Control? Control, yes. Well, then... Um, to where all of a sudden... That messes up to, a guy, then. To where all of a sudden you get... It sure probably can. Like, this probably goes hand in hand. Where once all of a sudden you're in the shower, you touch water, you have to pee. Like, it's not like... It does. It becomes a literal issue because your body reacts to it. Well, 99% of the world has bladder problems and a bad pelvic floor, then. Yeah. Because I think almost everybody... Maybe I need to go into pelvic floor therapy because I, I would always have a job. True. For sure. Okay. Ne- next and last one. And then we'll admit one weird thing that we do. <laughs> this is perfect end on. Okay. Sometimes I sniff my underwear after I take them off, especially because I need to know if they're clean or dirty. Sincerely, Joe Biden. <laughs> underwear version. No, like honestly. You need to sniff them to know if they're clean or dirty. Did you? I, I got one question for you. Did you sweat today? Yeah. Like, yeah? Uh, like first off, you should be changing your underwear every day. If not like multiple times a Let day. If you're sweat. wearing underwear. Uh, I don't if you're care wearing if you sweat. Did you wear them for more than 30 minutes? Yeah. You, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get some views. <laughs> Fuck. Like, come on, <laughs> blow my podcast up. You need a titty or what? No, I mean, I mean yeah. honestly, I'll be honest. Like, yeah, I've smelled my own underwear before. Like, sometimes, like. Well, yeah, I smell them. If, if, yeah, but like, if I accidentally put them in a weird pile, I'm like, are these clean or dirty? And it's like, I get them mixed up or something. Sure, I'll smell them to make sure it doesn't smell like sweat. Yeah, I feel like sometimes, like, women naturally, like, and again, like, I feel like you'd be lying if you don't admit this. Like, I'm just the one saying it for us. Like, I'm the vessel in this situation. Mm-hmm. But, like, women, like, we we smell ourselves down there, right? Like, whether it be, like, we kind of slip a finger down there, like, what's going on? Like, you kind of know where you're at in, like, your cycle. Your and like pH balance. No, like, honestly, like, am I kind of, like. Am I acidic today? Am I smelling bad? Like, is that me? You know, is it my my coworker there sitting next to me like is that me like is it so Patricia? i think sometimes like smelling your underwear maybe not underwear like i can't say i smell my underwear but like sometimes I get what you're at. i'll be smell it's I'll a sm- health, it's a check i'm somehow smelling myself a few times a week it, it's a check am i am i smelling sanitary especially if you're like really like well, mucusy like a certain time in like your cycle well, where there's just a lot coming like out make, you're I feel just like that all makes sense you're just kind of like mm, what's going on yeah it, that makes sense though cuz you know Guys versus women. For us, it's just we just got sweat like we got sweat anywhere. But yeah. you guys, you know, you got a little bit of a, uh, you got a little crevice down there. Well, right? we have to like make sure like we're healthy. Yeah, exactly. And then you could have yeast infections if you got some Ugh. rank going on. Yeah, you know. So it's so like what, I get it. That makes what's sense. What's uh, one really what's weird a weird thing that you're gonna admit? <sighs> um, I don't know. I kind of admitted to the. The booger the, thing. The balls thing. The booger thing. Oh, yeah, and smelling your ball sweat. I mean, that's just, uh, it's, it's just normal. But it's like, it's obvious. People just smell their own sweat, kind of. There's yeah. just, again, it goes back it's like to your the own fart. F- it's like I'm your own pheromones you, or something. There's something to it that it's like, it's pleasing. I don't know what it is. I've heard even other, like, comedians talk about it before. Well, if they talk about it, it's like, for sure, science. It's for real. It's for real. No, um, yeah. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I don't know. You know, at the other day, none of us have an original experience and have realized that as I've watched TikToks and as I've watched reels and stuff, it's like none of we all live the same fucking life. We have we all have the same experiences. We have different people in our lives, but we almost all have those, especially at this level of like just random shit that doesn't matter. Yes, we've all we all have that in common. We've all done some of that at some point. Yeah. So do you have one? Off the I, I just kind of mentioned mine. Like, yeah, like I totally smell myself somehow. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, I feel like that's that's mine. I mean, I all, I said it too. Like, I before I poop, you know, I'm taking a look. Yeah, I remember we talked about that. And you're like, I don't. And I'm like, how do you not? Like, a lot of poop, my friends do. Poop is also a health indicator. Again, like you're like, it, did I am I digesting well? Like, I, it, I just know I don't, so I just don't even look. <laughs> It's <laughs> just like consistent uh, blasphemy in the bath. I just bad down there, so I just <laughs> I don't need to look. <laughs> I've probably missed out on a lot of fascinating toilet pictures. Dude, no. <laughs> yeah. I probably have. I've probably had some crazy I've stuff. I've never taken a photo of my own dump. I mean, I have. But there's course. a... <laughs> guy has also. There's been a few that I'm like, this should be in a museum. <laughs> I don't want to hear <laughs> <laughs> you, you poop? No, like my my other self did. Uh, oh, my simulator yeah, self. Yeah, your clone. Oh, speaking of which, Black Mirror. We are, I talked about it last week, uh, but that's okay, so good. Whatever, whatever. That was good. Beyond the Sea was really but good. It, All right, that's um, it. I was going to say, I'm like, I got food to eat. Yeah, we have a date with probably the toilet later. Yeah. Let's be honest. We're going to go get Thai cuisine, which is 
terrifying. I, f- I found it. I found a local spot, and I am pumped. Yeah, for why it. it's horned up about this fucking you know cumin and chili and shit. Cumin, chili, curry, but so and yeah, you know, but coming over cumin, coming over, coming over curry. <laughs> well, curry's a real person, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I hope you guys had a great Sunday. Thanks for hanging out with us and our popular segments with the number one podcast in the nation. We appreciate you. Make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you leave a review. Make sure you leave a five-star. Make sure you follow Wyatt. Make sure you use code YP at shakeit.com, shakegolf.com. Make sure you use code Desby at literally anywhere and everywhere that you type in.com and go from there. Cheers. Love you.